Okay, this video is how fake news is used to keep people in line. Fake news, a lot of you would think it's just a silly thing and it's not important. No, fake news, and if you don't know what fake news is, just skip this video, dislike this video, because you won't know what I'm talking about. Or you can go look up what is fake news. You're going to see a lot of videos saying there's no such thing as fake news, but this is where you got to use your own brain. Anyway, fake, I'll give you an example of fake news, okay? I'm down in this, in Bastrop the other day, a little city outside of Austin, and I'm talking to a girl who's got a mask on her face. She's obviously works at HEB. She's got the red HEB shirt on. And I'm asking her, hey, are masks, you go into these different towns and you don't know if masks are required or not. You have to kind of ask people in the parking lot what's going on and they tell you. So I asked this girl, hey, are masks required here? Um, no, they're not, but for us employees, they are. I'm like, okay. And she goes on to tell me all the things she's learned from her watching TV. And, and then she goes out of her way to let me know, yeah, well, in some state or wherever it was, somebody got shot for not wearing a mask. What? Yeah, somebody, apparently she claims, and I'm sure it was on the news, somebody went into a store and saw somebody not wearing a mask and they shot them. Well, <laughs> I mean, there, there is a chance this could be true, and I, I would totally believe it's on the news, but I do not believe the story at all. It's, it's got fake news written all over it. Now, this story is very important because the millions of people are going to see it and believe it, especially the people who are working in stores. They're already hot and sweaty. They're already dealing with the public. They're already underpaid. They're already living in Texas where it's way too hot, or Arizona. And now their employer is asking them to, no, excuse me, requiring them to wear a mask. So they need a good reason for them to wear a mask, okay? And we're talking about millions of people in thousands of different stores. You know, one of these big grocery stores probably has two, 300 people working in it. So... They need a good reason to get the person to want to wear the mask. Well, what better reason, and, and this girl seems to buy right onto it, is if I don't wear a mask, I could get shot. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But she, she grasped onto it. I mean, it's a lot easier to believe something like that than to look at yourself in the mirror as a slave and look at yourself like, yeah, I do whatever my company wants and I have to. No, somebody got shot. And and that's one of the reasons we wear masks is somebody in another state got shot for not wearing a mask. I mean, th this is just the dumbest thing. But I hear all sorts of ridiculous fake news stories. And most of the fake news stories have a, they have a purpose. They have a script. Um, what do you call that? They're, they're like a psyop. You know, they're a psychological, there's a psychological underpinning to the message. So, if you've seen some other things you hear, rumors you hear, that just, the story doesn't make sense. I mean, can you imagine, I mean, you know if you shoot somebody in a public place, you're going to go to jail. But you've got people all over not wearing masks. So why would you put yourself, basically put yourself right in prison for no reason at all? But... It doesn't matter that the story doesn't make sense. It's just, that's what fake news is about. Thank you.